Hi everyone, I had a couple tests today that I'm just going to go through. Uh, they were the MUGA scan and then the PET scan slash CT scan. They were kind of both at the same time. Uh, both of them were pretty painless. Uh, the only thing that it kind of was a long day. I got there around 12.30 and I probably didn't leave until close to 5. So I was at the Hillman Center for all afternoon. Um, and it wasn't that you know they were kind of just sitting me in the waiting room. It was more of the test just took a while. Um, so when I first got there, they had to do normal vital stuff, and with that, they also had to, um, you know, sit me down, ask a couple questions, and the nurse that was asking me questions, he says, okay, so you have a port in place, and he was like, I said yes, and he was like, all right, can you give me your port card, and me being a power port card member, got to use my port for the first time, uh, the thing is awesome, uh, so he... I told him it was the first time being used, so he was just telling me everything that they were going to do with it. So he cleans it off pretty well, and then um, he put a, you know, a needle in, and then it kind of clicked in. And I'm telling you right now, the needle was less painful than any other needle I've had, you know, in my arms or hands or anything like that. So it was awesome. Um, and then um, <clears throat> he's telling me he's going to take some blood, and I'm kind of squeamish about that stuff so I wasn't watching and so he does it like I hear him click attached to it um sorry it had a catheter attached to it so it just had a tube that ran down underneath my shirt and then out the bottom of my shirt <clears throat> so I hear him click to it and kind of didn't want to watch because I didn't know how it was going to feel and then he unclipped I didn't even notice anything had happened so it was also kind of nice about that and then um he did a couple of tests, just uh, he had to do a insulin test just to make sure that everything was um, okay, uh, mostly because the PET scan involved uh, sugar levels, so he had to make sure that the sugar levels were low enough to actually do the test. <clears throat> so the first test I had was the MUGA one, and uh, so they lead me back to where that was going to be taking place, and the tech or doctor there decide was you know, going through what the actual test was, and he was explaining how it was the percent capacity of your heartbeat. So, um, he was pretty much saying, think about how your heart, when it expands and then pushes back out, they want to know how much of a push it's doing. And he said anything above 50% is considered normal. Um, he said for someone my age, and since I'm a runner, that there's it, it should be no problem at all so um <clears throat> for the test the way they do it is uh again they use the port uh they had to take a good amount of blood um he clicked onto it and i was watching him do it and i watched you know it go into the vial and i was actually able to watch it and didn't even, couldn't even feel anything so it was kind of cool with uh that since i am squeamish with that stuff uh <laughs> The way they do the test is so they take that blood, they add a radioactive material to it that emits gamma rays, they then uh, re-inject re that blood, and then <clears throat> they do a series of pictures in three different positions. Each position is done for five minutes, and the way it works is they attached EKGs, and then when it got to the peak, so when my heart was the most full, it would take a series of pictures as my heart was pushing out and try to try figuring out how much blood was being pushed out. <clears throat> what they do is they take the pictures and impose them and kind of create like a best guess of what's going on. And so, um, like I said, each they did three different angles so it could create kind of a 3D image. And then um, from there, they would compose all the pictures together to figure out what's going on. Uh, so that test was pretty simple. And then after that, I had the PET scan slash CT scan. Um, for the um, see for the PET scan, the tech there was going over why they do a CT scan kind of at the same time, and then a PET one. So he was explaining it as a CT scan will take what your body looks like, so you know the shapes of the organs and the different. Um, densities and stuff like that, but it can't really determine if anything is cancerous on it. So um, 
that was the main point of the test was to see where the cancer was. So the PET scan, the way it works is the radioactive material they put in will go straight to the cancer. So it will form um, kind of an image where the cancer is. And um, so he was explaining, you know, like a good example would be, so on the lung, so if you had a bump on it, the CT scan would be able to show the bump, but it wouldn't be able to tell you much information about it, and typically they would have to then do a biopsy to figure out if it was cancerous or not. With a PET scan immediately done afterwards, they would be able to see if that area was glowing or not to figure out if it was cancerous. So it was kind of cool how that test worked, uh, kind of how they imposed the two tests on top of each other to figure out what's going on. Um, <clears throat> so for that test, what they did was kind of inject me with something uh, I'm not quite sure what it was. Um, like again, it was another radioactive um, material that would. Uh, he was saying that it breaks down. Its half life is every hour. So I then had to go sit and wait somewhere for an hour, so that way the material had time to get to where the cancer actually was. The um, for that test, they kind of laid me in one of those beds, but it wasn't like you see on TV. It was kind of like two smaller versions, and the one side was the CT scan, and the other side was the PET scan. And the way they did it was they kind of segmented the body. So they did like lower limb area, then middle area, then upper chest, then head area. And then um, the CT scan probably took about five minutes to do. Um, for that one, they kind of they put a drug in you that's like a iodine type thing. That was the interesting sensation. Uh, before I laid down, they kept telling me they were like, just like, no, this drug gives you the sensation that you're going, that you're peeing yourself. And so she's like, trust me, you're not peeing yourself. You're perfectly fine. And so when they were putting the drug in, the woman was like, all right, you're going to start feeling warmness in your neck. And I was like, yep. And she's like, okay, now in your chest. Yep. And she's like, now in your groin area, and I'm promising you not peeing yourself. And I was like, oh my god, it really does feel like you're peeing yourself. And she's like, it's going to go away in a couple seconds. You're perfectly fine. Just lay there. You're fine. And uh, it was fine. Um, so like I said, the CT scan was probably about five minutes. After the CT scan, it kind of determines how long the PET scan is going to take. And I think it took about like 18, 19 minutes to do uh, all the way through. And so what it would do was like, you know, have my body and like be on the lower limb part for like a couple minutes and then shift them down the next part, a couple minutes, kind of keep going down. So like I said, both tests weren't that bad. Um, the only thing was probably the hour wait after, you know, the PET scan drug was injected and then waiting for that. Um, but it, it really wasn't that bad. Uh, so the next thing I have is on Thursday, and that's when I get the results for the stage, and that would be the PET scan along with the bone marrow biopsy. Um, kind of just waiting for that news. And then after that, I uh, will start chemo, and they're going to base what, um, what chemo treatment I'll be doing after that. It'll still be ABVD, but uh, just the amount of how long I have to do it. And, and the dosages and stuff like that will change based on the stage. Um, so we find out Thursday. Um, just to let you know, I'm probably not going to post anything on Thursday. They told me I'm probably going to be pretty wiped after my first chemo treatment. So uh, it probably won't be until Friday or Saturday before I put a post. Um, I might just put a text one up just to let everyone know what the stage is. But first figure that out. So, uh, so that's everything for now. All right, talk to you later.